Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, we're going to talk about one of the biggest challenges in landscape photography, and that is weather conditions. Now, whether it's a sudden rainstorm or clear skies when you want to dramatic clouds, the weather can make or break your shoot. But if you learn to embrace and adapt it, it can also help you create some incredible images. So let's dive in. Now, the first challenge about weather is exactly how unpredictable it can be. So you've probably all been there. You plan for the perfect sunrise, but then the clouds roll in or you get to location and it's raining heavily. And that can be highly frustrating, but it's part of being a landscape photographer. And that's about learning how to deal with these curveballs. Now, the truth is bad weather can sometimes give you the best photos. Storms, fog, rain, they all add mood and drama to the scene. So what might seem like bad luck at first can actually turn into a great opportunity if you're flexible. I've always had the belief that bad conditions do not exist in landscape photography. You should always embrace the weather because there is always a shot. Now it's important that we talk about your gear. So shooting in unpredictable weather means that you may need to be able to be prepared. Always protect your camera and your lenses because most modern cameras anyway are weather sealed. But I'd recommend using a rain cover for extra protection. And the best rain cover I've ever gotten was, believe it or not, a shower cap. So you can pick them up wherever you're staying somewhere, put it in your bag, and it's always good to have it. Additionally, a good microfiber cloth is essential for keeping your lens or filters clean, and especially when it's raining or even if it's snowing. Now, I always have one in every pocket of every coat that I have, so I'm never looking for one. And I always try and keep it in the left-hand pocket so that I know if I'm looking for it, I can tap, it's there, and if I want it, I can grab it. Now, the other thing that you need to be conscious of is you need a sturdy tripod, especially for windy conditions. Now, a trick that I like to use sometimes really is hanging my camera bag from the tripod to weigh it down and stabilize it. Now, it's important, obviously, that you've got a hook underneath your tripod that will enable you to do that. And, important, and more importantly, don't forget to dress for the weather. I've already done a video about the importance of clothing in landscape photography, but I can't stress this enough. Staying dry and warm will help you to stay out and stay focused and creative. There's nothing worse than being stood there, soaked to the skin, getting cold, shivering. That can actually be uncomfortable, but also can be dangerous because you're not thinking straight. Get your clothing right, get your gear right, get your camera gear right, and you're ready for everything that the weather can throw at you. Now, how do you read and use the weather to your advantage? Well, first off, clouds, believe it or not, they're your friend when it comes to photography. Thin, high clouds during golden hour can give you amazing color in the sky. And on the other hand, low, heavy clouds can create a moody atmosphere. So always look at the weather and see what type of clouds, first and foremost, that are forecast. Secondly, rain can also add in your favor. So after a rainstorm, wet surfaces like rocks and roads reflect beautiful light, giving you more texture and color to work with. If you've got snow, it simplifies the landscape, creating a minimalistic feel. And fog, of course, the elusive fog, it adds mystery and it can make an ordinary landscape look completely amazing. So embrace that by looking at the apps that you have available. Now, when you look at some apps, some apps will give you an overview. Some apps will give you a huge amount of detail. One that I like to use is YR or another app called Windy. And that will give you all the information that you need to be able to plan your shoot. But remember, the weather is unpredictable. So no matter how good you may think it is when you look in that phone, it may not necessarily turn out exactly as you planned. But be ready for change. So what if you get that perfect weather and you're heading right into this beautiful golden light 
and it doesn't happen. Well, it's something that I've often thought of and I've been prepared for because most landscape photographers, they love shooting during golden hour, which is obviously, as you may know, right after sunrise or just before sunset when the light is soft and warm. But it's important that you don't forget about blue hour because that's the time right before the sun comes up or right after it sets and then the sky turns a deep blue. If you're shooting in foggy or overcast conditions then blue light can add a cool dramatic feel to your shots. So you may not get the right light and even if you do get the right light hang around until after the sun has set for blue hour or arrive extra early before the sun rises for blue hour before your day starts. Now, adapting your photography style to changing weather conditions is absolutely key. If it's windy, try using faster shutter speeds to freeze the motion or slower ones to create a sense of movement in any grasses or water. And when it's raining, go for moody handheld shots rather than setting up for the perfect sunrise or sunset. Embracing the weather conditions that you're given can result in images that are unique and full of emotion. So, what about extreme weather? Now we're talking about blizzards, sandstorms, lightning. Well, first and foremost, safety should always be your paramount. If you're in a dangerous situation, don't risk it. Know when to call it quits. But if you're prepared, extreme weather can provide some of the most powerful and dramatic shots you'll ever take. Storm clouds, lightning strikes, heavy snowfall, they all create an energy and a sense of scale that's hard to capture in camera conditions. For me personally, if I see that there's a yellow warning or an orange warning, I am straight to the coast. For in Ireland, the wind, the wind is generally blowing inward, so I'm not in any danger of being blown off a cliff. But what it does mean is that I've got incredible wave action. And that allows me to be able to capture moments in time when that wave comes in and crashes bigger than I've ever seen it before. It's not only powerful for images, but it's powerful for the soul, my soul anyway. And that's why I love it so much. So the next time you check the forecast and it doesn't look perfect, don't give up on your shoot. Instead, embrace the weather, adjust your techniques and see what it gives you. Sometimes the most memorable photos come from the most unexpected conditions. And like I said, I firmly believe that bad conditions do not exist in landscape photography. There's always a shot. So thank you very much for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments about your most challenging weather conditions. Thanks very much. See you soon. Schlange voll. Yes, life. Oh, ho, ho.